So you're searching for a new 1080p 144Hz gaming monitor and you decide to search on Amazon. You search just that and you're greeted with a few select monitors that Amazon recommends to you, Amazon's choice options you should check out and one of those is this, the AOC C24G1. Now in this series we're going to be looking at those Amazon choice items and see if they're actually any good, if they're worth you actually spending your money on or if there's a newer or better version or a better product you should pick instead. So what are we looking at here? Well we're looking at a 1080p 144Hz gaming monitor like I said. This one is a curved model if you're into that and uses a VA or vertical alignment panel which is normally the middle ground between TN or twisted pneumatic and IPS or in-plane switching but is often known for a fair bit of ghosting. Now this model is pretty much no different. It does ghost a little especially in static images like this one you can see that there is a significant trail behind the, the UFO in the UFO ghosting test and that's mostly due to its panel response time. I measured the black to white response time being any anywhere between 6 and 7 milliseconds, uh, which is certainly a bit slower than the usual 1 to 3 milliseconds I would see in a TN panel for example. And while I do have to say the white to black response time is actually pretty balanced at about 7 milliseconds as well, it's still a little on the slow side. When it comes to the input lag, seeing the, the total system input lag using a mouse with an LED on it and seeing the LED go out and then seeing how long it takes for the guns fire in CSGO, that uh, showed a result of about 34 milliseconds, which is not the slowest I've seen, it's also not the fastest I've seen, but it's a pretty average and pretty reasonable result. All right, enough numbers. What about the actual gaming experience on it? Well, that's pretty good. I did notice a bit of ghosting in game, but it's a smooth and pretty responsive experience overall, especially thanks to it having AMD's FreeSync. It was overall a pretty decent, pretty enjoyable experience, and the ghosting didn't really detract from the experience enough for it to be a, a real issue. It was just something I noticed when I was quickly moving around in fast-paced games like CSGO. And as for the rest of the features, it's pretty well connected with two HDMI ports, which you can use for, say, two consoles, display port for your PC and VGA for, I guess, backwards compatibility. It also has a fully adjustable stand in pretty much every dimension, you know, height, tilt, and swivel. The only one it doesn't have is rotation to put it into portrait mode, but that's not too much of an issue since this is a curved display anyway. And it has pretty decent viewing angles, especially side to side, so that's not too bad. So it's a reasonable choice, especially for its crazy low price tag on Amazon.com, but is there anything better is there a, say, newer version? Well, as per chance, yes, there is. This is the AOC 24G2U, and it's not going to fit in frame, but we're going to run with it anyway. Uh, this is a flat IPS model, which is actually a pretty big step up from VA, and is actually a fantastic monitor. Now, like I said, this one is a flat IPS panel, and it actually has a pretty similar response time to the G1, the, the curved VA, but it has an incredible input lag result of just 20 milliseconds. Like I said, compared to this one, that's 34. That's a pretty significant difference. Also, the viewing angles in this are even better. The colors are insanely beautiful to look at. And the actual gaming experience was honestly a bit better as well. I didn't notice any ghosting on this despite a very similar response time and the, the general gaming experience is just fantastic on this monitor. Now sadly it's out of stock on Amazon.com right now but if we look at the pricing history you can see that it's only about $20 more expensive than the G1 for a considerably better monitor. Now in the UK, the G2 is actually significantly cheaper by a very big margin than the G1, which makes buying this one a no-brainer in comparison. Now if you want to buy either of these monitors or just see pricing when and where you watch this, do take a look at the links in the description down below. Those are Amazon affiliate links, but they will take you to your local Amazon store where you can see all of that good stuff. With that said, I would highly recommend you do check out either of these two. Obviously if you're in the USA, this one is a fantastic 
fantastic deal but this one is a better monitor overall and for the you know a 20 dollar extra this is potentially well worth that that extra investment when it does come back in stock now with that said those are my thoughts and i would love to hear yours in the comments down below what do you think of these two monitors which one would you pick out of these two let me know in the comments and in the poll up above as well now if you want to see more videos like this one especially in the amazon's choice series do hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification icon so you don't miss any new videos i post every monday wednesday and friday also if you have any suggestions for more products i should check out that are amazon's choice do leave those in the comments down below as well and if you want to support the channel in more ways than just watching these videos and subscribing then you can take a look at the rest of the links in the description down below there's amazon and overclock uk affiliate links that don't cost you anything to use but massively help me out when you use them there's patreon if you want to get cool rewards and support me directly or merch for hoodies or t-shirts like this one or a load of other cool new designs and a load of other stuff down there too like Streamlabs OBS if you want to start streaming. Otherwise there are plenty of other videos you can check out over there including the review to the G2U if you want to see that and that is pretty much it. If you have any questions leave those in the comments down below as well and we'll see you all in the next video.